yeah, I mean, this really did start with that, a false flagging campaign. And that's really what this comes down to. And then to top it off, that same guy that did the false flagging campaign says disrespectful shit about Akira Toriyama on the day of his announced passing, which is one of the most beloved figures you, you'll find. Like Dragon Ball is one of the biggest, most beloved properties ever. And it impacted everybody, every demographic, every race, every country was impacted by the passing of Toriyama. And this clown who tried to start this false flagging campaign is the same guy who disrespected Toriyama. You, you can't make this shit up. And then you've got the comments from um, the, the, the co uh, co-creator, she co-CEO. What is she? Uh, Kim Belair. Yeah. What is she? co-create? Whatever. Uh, she's her. And then there's the uh, other guy on LinkedIn, and both of them are now putting out these statements. And uh, the guy on LinkedIn, he put the statement out, essentially saying, "Oh, there's a harassment campaign going on, a targeted harassment campaign from all of these gamers uh, against our company." And then you start seeing all these shill articles pop up with how accusing gamers of a harassment campaign. There's no harassment campaign. They simply just put together the games you're working on for gamers to know, hey, this is the group that they, this is the group of games yeah. that this company's uh, been involved with the consulting on, just so you know. And then they fucked up. They went after gamers. Uh, we found all these other clips out there of Kim Belair talking about how you should terrorize your fucking employers to make sure you get all the woke DEI stuff that you want. Like now we've found out a lot of their history and people are commenting on that. Like that's what's going on. There, there's no harassment campaign, but the the people who are the, the real truly evil pieces of shit, Alyssa Mercante, Ooh, who's yeah. the one who did that Kotaku article. This was, I, I think, a very important tweet that kind of went under the radar from two days ago. I see a lot of industry folks and leaders with massive followings and influence staying very, very quiet right now. I'll remind you one of my favorite Audre Lorde quotes. Your silence will not protect you. Man, it's weird. It's almost like right out of the Sweet Baby Ink playbook to basically threaten and terrorize people you work with if you don't get what you want. Mm -hmm. yep. Like, th this is a statement that if you don't stand with us, with us because we're being harassed, we're trying to gaslight everybody be believing that we're harassed, game developers, businesses, journalists, if you don't take a stand with us right now, we're going to remember and we're going to come after you next. Absolutely. And to top all of this off, it really hit the next level yesterday because the most influential man in the world, <laughs> probably the most powerful man in the world, Elon Musk retweets uh, this clip. Uh, there was an interview with the quartering. He had Cabrutus and Grums on. And yes, so now Elon has signal boosted it. Um, so this is this is taking it to a whole new level. And oh, my goodness. The freak out over Elon getting involved has been fantastic. They are so, there are so many of these freaks that are so mad right now because Elon uh, responded. I've seen Paul Tassi. Some people are saying Paul Tassi was being sarcastic. I don't think that he was. No, Paul Tassi's put out a lot of tweets yes. the last couple of days that are yeah. very like that's inciting or minimizing. Yeah. A mm -hmm. lot of stuff that's going on. You got uh, this guy who it's all this guy's been in my mentions forever, but uh, he screenshotted this fucking loser is going to amplify and boost these shit birds into everyone's timeline. It's going to be worse than before. You're, you're right. And, it is going to be worse for you yeah. than before. You're, yeah, because so. that, and that's what I mean. This is the difference. Um, journalism has fucking completely tanked in terms of credibility and reach and all these things for these mainstream uh, media outlets, these mainstream game journalist outlets. And now you have Elon drawing attention to what's going on. Um, mm. Now we have crossed. We're, we're at this point. We talk about this sometimes where we cross this kind of cultural uh, window. And all of a sudden, Libs of TikTok is talking about it. Elon's talking about it. Jack you're about Kosobic to see. Sobek was tw tweeting about it. Exactly. You know? <laughs> you're, you're about to see a lot of other like uh, political culture war people. Uh, that are starting to talk about this, which means it's hitting like a higher stratosphere in terms of visibility. The, the, these people are going to get absolutely fucking destroyed. Uh, the managing editor for GameSpot said once again asking gamers to grow up. He tried to put some clarification out there um, to try to backtrack, but he, Bull, he was, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he's getting crushed. So I t I retweeted uh, once again asking journalists to shut the fuck up. And, uh, dude, these guys, I'm telling you, man, they hate gamers.
They hate him. And it this is this is just the beginning of something that's going to get real, real nasty. We're going to talk about this video that Libs of TikTok pulled up. But uh, yeah, I I'm ready for it. I am ready for it. And it's not even going to be a great year in gaming in general. I mean, in terms of like the thing is, is and is this is something we have to work hard on on geeksgamers.com highlighting the indie game scene because there are a lot of phenomenal indie games out there. Tomok, who just sent the $50 in. Thank you, Tomok, who's got a, a really good feel for, for all of that stuff in the, the, game, the indie sphere. There are some incredible indie titles out there um, that we need to highlight. I don't think there's really a great place that's highlighting enough indie titles, and we need to do a better job of that because uh, with all of the AAA titles, the disaster, the layoffs in the gaming industry right now, it's a fucking shit show, man. Well, you've really been pushing is. a small indie game for a while, uh, Fortnite. Oh, yeah, you've absolutely. A big, av big advocate of that. And I don't push that game because it's an indie game as much as it proves how much of a hardcore gamer I am because um, I'm not about the normie games.